Anybody in here like to learn? Oh, good. I'm not the only one. That's excellent. Let me tell you what. I don't want you to forget. Learn leaders are learners. So the question you ask yourself now. Okay, Cecilia. So I got it. So now what do I do? Now what do I do to take the next step? When I open that door and I say yes. So say yes again. Yes. Ask. I want you to say yes to the things that scare you the most. Yes, because when you can say what scares you the most, okay, when you can do that, that's when you take the big step. That's when you change your life, when you embrace the fear. And how are you going to do that? You're going to be self-aware. You're going to write down, where am I scared? And why am I scared? And what can I do that's going to get me past being scared? What's one thing that if I did it today, even though I'm scared, it's going to change my life. It's going to take me closer. Can you go back to Susan Boyle for a second? My gosh, she could have sat there. I've got a learning disability. I've never worked except for six months in my life. I live in this town that's got 10 people in it for population, okay? You know, everybody makes fun of me. Remember when she got up there to sing and Simon Cowell and all of those were absolutely, you know, ridiculing her. So I want you to know you got to show up. And you've got to be consistent, consistency, consistency, consistency. And you've got to be willing to be uncomfortable. That's when it's the best thing happens, is when you're uncomfortable. And you've got to take action. You've got to do what Eleanor Roosevelt said. You've got to do that which you think you cannot do. And then you've got to be courageous. You've got to have courage. And let me tell you, courage isn't about great big things. Courage is that little, still, small voice the next day that says, I can do it again. I can do it again. It may not have worked today, but I can do it again.